fine. Okay. So Salesforce is a cloud-based application. Salesforce is a Salesforce is a cloud-based application. Or you can say cloud-based CRM. Basically, this is CRM, right? Suppose uh, you know about the SAP SAP. So what is the SAP? SAP is a ERP. Salesforce is a CRM and SAP is a ERP. Okay. So in the CRM, as we know, the customer relationship management is a full form of CRM. Okay. So CRM is a customer relationship management. So just the name suggested something we need to interact with the customers. Okay. And what is the mean of ERP? ERP means enterprise resource planning. Okay. Enterprise resource planning. It means to say we need to manage company inventory, right? We need to manage the warehouses. We need to manage the product and all these things in the ERP. So before few years back, ERP was very popular, right? Everyone just trying for the ERP, SAP. So it's okay. But nowadays, CRM is very popular. And sales, there are lots of CRM in the market. If I'm talking about the uh, CRM in the market, then we have a Joho CRM. We have a Sales CRM, we have a Microsoft Dynamics CRM, Civil CRM, Sales CRM. So we have a other CRMs as well nowadays. And all the CRMs is on cloud as well. Okay, cloud means what? I will discuss. So even the mark in the market, we have a lot number of CRM. Then why Salesforce is very popular in other CRM as compared to other CRM? Salesforce is a very Salesforce is a leader of all the CRMs nowadays. Even that Salesforce is very costly. I'm telling you, Salesforce software, Salesforce application is the very costly as compared to others. But Salesforce is popular worldwide, not in only in India or some other country. Okay, so what is the Salesforce? Salesforce is a cloud. Salesforce is a cloud-based application, or you can say the cloud-based CRM. Okay. Now, if you want to know about the Sanat, you are not getting my voice properly. Everyone uh, getting voice properly? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sanat, please just try to, uh, maybe that little bit network issue from your side. Okay. So just try to understand. Okay. So if you want to know about the Salesforce, then you need to know about the cloud. Because here you can see the two words, cloud and CRM. If you know about the CRM and if you know about the cloud, then you properly under, understand what is CRM. Okay. So let's discuss the something real time. Okay. So I'm telling you before starting everything. Okay. Before starting everything in Salesforce, first you feel that, okay, just you assume that you are a user, not a developer, not administrator or not a consultant like that. If you are going to, uh, if you are going to, and also you need to realize that in real time, whatever we have, have we, we are doing, okay, just you can compare. So this will easy to you for understanding everything. Because Salesforce is based on the OOPS language, OOPS concept. So OOPS concept means object oriented programming language, right? So Salesforce, is related to the objects, whatever we are using in a word. Okay. So Salesforce means what? Just to try to understand only. Listen carefully only bus. Okay. I will not tell you much theoretical things in the Salesforce. Key. What is the just I will I will spend the one one lecture for Salesforce, one lecture for CRM, one lecture for other things. Whatever you need, I will explain only those things. So CRM is a so Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM. So let's discuss about the CRM first. Okay. What is the CRM? So basically CR CRM is customer relationship management. This is a full form. Okay. So this is not sufficient. If anybody asks you what is CRM, then you can say customer relationship management. You need to explain more. Okay. Suppose you are discussing with the clients. You are discussing with the, any other person who... Uh, don't know about the CRM and all. So you must need to explain a little bit more. This is not sufficient just to tell the full form of the CRM. Okay. 
So I told you just we can assume that in the real time. So just to think about it, let's start. Okay. If you think about it in whole world, if I'm talking about India, if I'm talking about US, if I'm talking about Canada, Netherlands, everywhere, if you are doing any type of business, okay, if you are doing any type of business, X, Y, Z, like the, if you are, if you have a own company for the medical, if you have an electronics company, if you have any shoes company, if you have any gym center, if you have any education related thing, <clears throat> okay, if you have a banking sector, every, every industry, if you are work, if you have a, you are, you can say the running any industry. Okay. So what you do, what you do, you, you are doing two things only, right? Sell the product. I'm telling you in a very simple language. Okay. Sell the product or sell the service. Just a minute, please. Okay. Okay. So, if you're doing anything, suppose we have a pharma based pharma company. If you have any electronics company, if you have any banking sector, if you have any grocery shop, anything. Okay. If you have any, you can say gym center. So whatever you are doing, so you will do only two things. You will sell the product, either sell the service, right? Suppose you have a pharma company, you are manufacturing company, you are manufacturing the medicines. Okay. You are doing. So what you will do, you will sell the product or not, right? If you, if you, because, because you know, if you, if you, have a medical or if you have a lots of medicine, you manufacturing the lots of medicines, then if you not sell, then what will happen? Nothing, right? If you have a big building, that's why I'm telling you the SAP is uh, not a much popular nowadays as compared to sales, CRM. If you have a big building, everything is fine. Lots of machines, lots of employees, everything. But if the, if you are not able to sell the product, if you're not able to sell the medicines to the consumer, to the customers, you assume that you, your business will not grow, right? You cannot generate your revenue. Clear? You cannot generate, generate your revenue, okay? You cannot grow your company. So here, if you have a pharma company, so you are, you are selling the product, right? If I'm talking about electronics industry, then suppose you, you manufacture the laptops, Bluetooth, mobile, what you will do? you will sell the product, right? You will sell the laptops. So sell the sell here also the, you will sell the product, right? If I'm talking about, suppose education sector, I'm also selling to you, but what? I'm selling my service to you, right? I'm selling my service to you. Suppose there are a number of people working in a, suppose there are a number of people in US. I am giving the service for, uh, uh, service for laptop. I'm calling to one customer, sir, I'm, I'm from India. Just I'm doing the service for a laptop. You can take my service for one year. If you have any problem software related, then I can help you. And my package is for this amount. And then call to another customer, call to another customer, call to another customer. So what I'm doing, I'm selling, but I'm not selling any product. I'm selling the services, right? You go to the gym just to pay the some amount. And then you use the gym products. You cannot bring it at home, right? So gym people selling the services. If I'm talking about banking industry, you go to the uh, Canara bank, you go to the SBI bank and any other bank just to pay the amount, 20,000, 30,000, 15,000, 10,000. And then bank people, bank not giving any product to you, just giving the account number, ATM cards and service credit card and whatever you want. So they are also selling but they are selling the service. So guys, I hope that you understand what is the mean of sales, the product and sales, the services. Any doubt here? Clear, right? If I'm talking about the grocery, you go and then sell, taking a product, right? Grocery stores, not giving the services, giving the products, clear? 
diksha menu everyone fine sanat yeah clear fine fine okay yes sir okay yes. now let's discuss about suppose we have a one company suppose we have a venu enterprises we have a one company and this company manufacturing the laptop just to try to understand why i am using the salesforce or why i am using the other crms i am not talking about only for salesforce i am talking about general crm as of now okay general crm i am talking about then move on the what crm is the best what crm are best salesforce or zoho or other crms okay so suppose we have a one company the venu enterprises this is a manufacturing laptop so if the manufacturing the laptop suppose 50000 laptops manufacture in a month okay so what we will do first step what will do launch campaign or not if you want to if you want to reach out to the customers consumers what you will do if you forget about that right now you have a crm you forget you are not using a crm so what you will do first of all you launch the campaign right so that you reach to the customers so how we can launch the campaign so suppose venu enterprises giving that to marketing department okay this is the products please sell so the marketing department team just launch the campaigns how we can launch the campaigns tv ad right social media you will use you will use the social media right install banners holdings these things you will use right for launching the campaign after campaigning i am telling you the general step of the company okay general step i am telling you so after launching the campaign what we will do what happen so through this campaigning suppose that 20000 people showing interest showing interest in your product okay product showing interest in your product so what they called they call the leads right you can say call the prospect customers prospect customers okay call the prospect customers who is the pro prospect customer means just showing the interest not a genuine customer suppose you go to the market you go to, you are purchasing a you are planning to purchase a shirt you go to the one shop another shop another shop right so for those shopkeepers you are a just a lead right you this is a common thing right common name lead are you getting lead any, any lead or not if you selling the credit card if you are do, doing the insurance things if you are anything just lead lead means the cust the person who interesting in your business so after showing the interest what we will happen what will happen in 20000 people assume that the 12000 people buy your products buy your products okay buy your products so because because you know everyone if interested then doesn't matter ki all the people will take your product right maybe this some some maybe the some budget problem maybe the product problem maybe that the person not not available nowadays any other reasons okay so assume that in 12 20000 people the 12000 people buy your products so it mean to say they are actual customer okay you can say the account if i'm talking about in salesforce language call the account if i'm talking about uh, uh, in crm language call the leads like that okay so suppose you go to the one bank just to query just to take a form go to the another bank go to the another bank and at at last one bank you open your account so for that particular bank you are a genuine customer right for further relations you will interact with the particular customers but you just you are a genuine customer for that particular bank okay so after sold the product after sold the product after uh, product by by the customers okay by the people what you will give 
suppose you 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 uh, sold the twelve thousand laptop. If you buy the, if you sold the twelve thousand laptop, maybe the laptop some laptops will damage, right? Some screen problem, some some maybe few laptops, of course, right? If you're selling the product and in one laptop in one lakh laptop, maybe the some have problem. So what you will do? You will give the customer satisfaction, right? After that, you give the customer satisfaction, and customer satisfaction is a very very important nowadays. Because there are lots of competition, right? Suppose a two person. Okay, if I'm talking about a two person, one person taking a laptop from your company, and then feel some damage thing, you call to customer care, and customer care people will say, okay, okay, no problem, ma'am. Just I raise your complaint, and within seven days or within seven days, your problem will resolve. So you feel very bad, right? Because just you purchase the new laptop, and the same time you face the problem. And what happened? You will very feel very irritating thing. I I spend the fifty thousand, sixty thousand rupees, and then I I need to work urgent work for my office or anything. And that's the saying that we 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 will uh, remove uh, we will resolve after seven uh, within seven days. But in other hand, if any cust any any per customer call to the customer care, sorry to inconvenience. Just um, I raise your complaint within one hour or within two hour or today. My customer representative reach to your home. Please exchange your laptop. So you will feel happy, right? You will feel happy. Hey, wow, what good service! Because of you, even the problem, even the product have a problem. But even that product have a problem. But you will happy. Okay, okay, okay. Good service. You can change the product. Just I am giving the example. Okay, Maruti Services. There are. Blaze and the uh, rural area and then cities, number of cars of the Maruti, right? The first preference of the Indians. Why? Because of the cheapest services, cost, and av available everywhere. But if I'm talking about the Celtas and other other cars, right? Kia, Hyundai, or even cost is high, and you are not able to find in the rural area the services, service centers. That's why the problem. Maruti is good. Honda is very popular car, right? Other car is also popular. Nissan, if I'm talking about, only service problem, right? If so, and other thing, if you go to the jewelry shop, Tani showroom or something, you will take a jewelry, and once you come to the home, then any holy offer, any Diwali offer, any marriage anniversary, any uh, birth date, you are receiving the mail from that center. Thank uh, birthday business mail. And giving the offer to you, why they are giving the offer? Why they are sending a mail to you? If you purchase the Maruti car, once you come to the home, after after that, after one day, you will you will receive a welcome mail. Why? Because they are maintaining the long term long term product or uh, long term relation with you, with the customers, not a short term product uh, relation, right? Even that you have made the payment and everything, even that. The uh, the company will attracting to you again and again because Maruti company know very well. That after five years, your maybe the your plan change. You need to buy a new car. After five years, your service will finish. Again, if I'm not giving the good service, then what will happen? You will move anywhere, right? After five years, because warranty finish. So we need to focus on existing customers. Suppose here you have a people, right? If I'm giving the good good things to you, if the people's place, okay, then after some time you can you can refer to me. The you you can refer your friends also. Okay, this person is good. This uh, telling very well. Okay, just you can come. So I don't need to much convince to that people, right? Because you already that that person already know this person is good. The product is a good everything. So why first focus on a new customer? Suppose I I I sold the two lakh car. In a year, in five years, you sold the ten lakh car. So you assume that in ten lakh cars, one lakh people change that car. One lakh people retain. You can retain. Maruti can retain or something. Okay. So service is the very very important. So if we are using the phone pay, Google pay, if you send the money from one person to another person, if you face any problem and your money return in a two days or five days or seven days. You will not like, right? 
but same day sorry again and again so service is good why not using mobi quick right why not using the bharat pay we are using the most of the time paytm and phone pay and google pay right so because service is good so service is a very important part so guys after that we have a one more thing suppose sale post sale means what sale after sale i told you ki suppose in suppose uh, i i sold the maruti car right after 5 year your warranty finish again i call to you, sir uh, your service warranty is finished so if you want then uh, i can renew your services right you extend this your service no need to go anywhere so customer can extend your services so sale after sale so guys here from launching the campaign to post sale whatever activities you are doing every activities you can do through the crm i am not talking about crm i am not talking about sales force crm i am talking about crm every activities if you want to launch a campaign you need to track if you want to manage the leads you can do if you want to manage the services so actually what is happening just to think about it so what is the cust- what is the difference of what is the dif- definition of the cust- crm customer relationship management where we can track or store information of customers customers related to products at one place okay for automation of our business you can add the one line no need to remember okay no need to learn just try to understand maybe if you want to give the seminar webinar or in client in presentation or anything you can you can explain these things this is sufficient okay so what is the mean customer relationship management where we can track or store the information of customers related to product at one place for automate your business our business you can say okay so we can tra- if you want to sell anything suppose this is crm you understand this is crm and we have a customers lots of customers if you want to sell anything just to call to customers and then you first you store the information okay first you store the information sir your name please sir your email address sir your birth day etc etc why i am storing the information i told you because of if you suppose in the system benu i don't know the benu email address how i send a mail automatic mail for example i am running a finance based company okay so you took a, you took a loan loan from my company right and i need to send a mail at the end of the month so before five days just i am reminding to you sir please deposit your money at this time so if you want to if you want to send a mail then your customer email id must in the crm right customer birth day in the crm if you want to send a birthday mail we cannot send manually right so why i am storing the information before that just i am telling you we cannot do manually these things okay this is a very very tough if i want to launch if i want to grow my business suppose you have a today two cust- 10000 customers but after one year you have a 1 lakh customer how you can manage in an excel sheet right suppose okay we don't have the crm now if i may assume that we don't have the crm okay we don't have crm okay sir your name you need to maintain an excel sheet suppose launch the campaign right if you launch the campaign then you have a num- phone number email address etc so just okay sir please tell me your name etc etc you mention in excel sheet so if you mention in excel sheet what will happen this is a very complicated thing right very complicated sir your name please sir your address please and after after one week okay sorry i am not uh, i'm i'm out of session what do you do so guys just i'm telling you one more thing i request to you please join again with the same link okay because this will disconnect in one minute so i need to discuss more things more important thing okay so please come yeah, again okay. yes please come again so that i can continue okay. these things okay thank you so much just i'm discussing this, this connecting this one